Okay, now we have finished discussing all of our topics for today. I have introduced you to the software, introduced you to the three main tools or tools that we will commonly access. So now it's time for an exercise. This exercise is, or sorry, the exercise folder is located on this link. So you can click this or you can right click it, open it in a new tab, and it will direct you here. So you can already see the folder in zip format. You can right click that and download it. After you have that downloaded, you can now go to the, file, uh, to the file itself here. You can right click and extract it or unzip it and then you will find this folder, the session 01 exercise. Now, inside the folder, you have six sketch files there. And if there are six sketch files there, you're only to choose one. Choose any one of the of these uh, to practice on with the tools. And also, I am going to give you the choice, or you can choose which tools you would like to practice with for now. Let's say, for example, I would like to practice cleaning up or doing the exercise with my brush tool or with my pencil tool or with the polyline tool. It's up to you which tool you will choose in cleaning up the file, the sketch file that you will also be choosing from here. Okay? And for example, I will open mine. So here, so this is my exercise. Now before we start, course you have to make sure that your drawing layer this one here is the one click or selected or the one that's active so I'm giving you a hint on our upcoming lessons so this is the layer or here in the nodes you can select it directly it is usually named the drawing layer okay now here as you can see, this is a simple sketch. Simple sketch of a character. And the task at hand is for us to clean this. As I have said, or in our lessons, we mentioned that polylines are very much useful for cleaning. Okay? But you can still, you are free to choose which tool you would like to use for cleaning. For example, if you would like to use the brush tool, to clean this up, it's up to you. You can do so. Okay? But let's use, for me, I would like to use the polyline. There. So, just zooming in. Using my, you know, Photoshop shortcuts are still applicable. Zooming in, control space bar, and click. The polyline tool is active. There it is. The size, let's say I will set the size. I would like it to be, let me check. Size 20 is too big. I would like the size to be, let's say, just 10. There. Then, let me test. Ah, yeah, that's fine with me. There. Now, I will switch to my selection tool uh, this is my what do you call this this is our contour editor the contour editor will now allow me to do this I can drag it alright now I will switch to the pencil editor 
the pencil editor will now allow me to adjust the thickness of these lines. So let's say I would like these points to be really pointed. So I can, sorry, I can drag here into a smaller number. Right? That's an example. So let's say I would like this to increase a little bit more. Let's say around 15 or 25. That looks fine. And I would like this to be squeezed in a little bit. Let's say 5. Oh, it looks fine with me. 5. There. So you can adjust line weights for it. Right? I will continue by adding another line. So let's say here, I will just click. As you can see, the tip here is you use lesser points when you are doing your cleanups. As much as possible, lesser points. I'll click here to add a, oops, sorry, there. Then I will click here using my contour select, contour editor. I will click here, holding control, I will click at this corner to add a point. All right, and then I can click there for a corner of the brow okay, to appear. Then I will just readjust some positions there. Now let's say we will be again adjusting the thick and thin effect of this. So I will select, I will turn on my uh, pencil editor there. So I'll just select I set it again to 5. I set the tips to 5. And then I can set these portions to a bit more higher. If I would like them to be thickened a bit. Especially the ones in the brows. Say there. Oops. Let me select all of it. There. Just to activate the whole thing and then let me just this here let's add a little tipping there. now let's say I would like to adjust the thickness of this I would like it to be thin it's easy you can easily just add holding control and clicking on that portion of the path there's a point added select it and now you can also adjust that All right. so you can adjust the thick and thin effect directly you can add points just by holding control and click this here let's say let's add just one point so that it could narrow down a little bit there right I can hide to check I can hide by turning on and off the eye button of the layer so that I can see my progress Again, I'll go back to the polyline tool. Clicking it. Here. Oops, sorry. Adding. Oops, let me undo that. I would like it to be a bit continuous. 
this one it's like the other side of the brow there and then I'll go back to my contour editor selecting it and the adjustments are happening so again if I need some extra points I can add directly by holding control and clicking on a path portion so here's an example so once again let's select this I'll go to my contour editor now if you're wondering what's the shortcut of the contour editor you can see your shortcuts here edit and then choose keyboard shortcuts you can find out about the shortcuts for the drawing tools here at the drawing mode list the contour editor can be found here there the original shortcut is alt q so as you can see i switched it to a so that means you can customize your own shortcuts you can do that by just clicking the tool that you choose you type in here the letter or the hotkey that you would like to assign all right so now i can just close that so if i press letter a goes back to the contour editor if i press uh, so if i press shift a the pencil line editor is selected so those are my hot keys that i have created for this so from here i can adjust let's say at five five for the tip and this guy is going to be more all right so oops it appears too much let's say 20 only there the brown let's say that this brown is going to be bulky 15 and then holding control clicking here let's add a little narrow in there there that much yeah so now I can close open there now how about this portion of the eye so I can do this I can trace it overlapping the brow portion and then these excess lines I can get rid of them by holding the letter T letter T T as in uh, Tunbo. I will hold the letter T and then I will drag across those excess lines and they are now removed. It's as simple as that. Again, I will hold letter T, the key, T, uh, keyboard, letter T. I'll just click and drag across and those excess lines are removed All right so going to a for my contour editor selection then i'll just select this uh -huh. it looks fine i'll press shift a then i can now adjust Oops, sorry adjust the thickness there and then from here I can adjust thinning. Uh -huh. Looking fine for me. So this is how you can use your 
pencil editor tool. Again, we are just going to clean up the lines. Okay? So, do not fill these eyelids. Sorry, these eyeballs or pupils. Okay? With color. You just give them an outline that will serve as a guide when you do your coloring. Okay? So, that's a reminder, huh? So, for example, no matter how solid the sketch or how solid of a fill was given to the sketch, we just press letter T, cut this, we just maintain it as an outline. So, I'll just do this again, zooming in. There. Pressing T, access. Yeah. Right. So. As you can see, the beauty or the good thing about this um, harmony, it automatically connects overlapping paths. Okay, so there. I'll save my work. And you can now continue with yours.